Motherfucking Saturdays or whatever, and then motherfucking Saturdays. Saturday night's over. Hi, guys. It's Sunday afternoon. I thought it was Sunday morning. Like Sunday morning. Yeah, like that. Just like that. Sunday morning! I'm not gonna, I can't do that. <laughs> I think at one point she goes, Modern Family! <laughs> no, that's, uh, David Bowie, isn't it? Oh, Modern Love. That's something. Modern Love. Modern Love. Modern Love. Church on time. <laughs> well, we're gonna get to church on time today, because you're here and we're here. Let's see what everybody's saying. Hi, Adam. Hi, Paulina. Hi, Gray. Hi, Karen. Special thanks to Karen for last broadcast. We're going to be finishing up the last piece of Karen's previous parcel uh, and other things that are alliterative. Um, hey, Lindsay. Uh, hey, Hannah. Hey, Colleen. John. What is that? Jonathan? Oh, hi, Jonathan. Hey, Lorraine. Uh, sorry, I wasn't there last time. It's cool. Uh, and we said hi to Adam. Hi, Karen. Hey, Galactica. Um, R Raven. Raluca. Tama. Guys, welcome one. Welcome most. Welcome you. I'm your host. And this is Amada, her girlfriend. Hi. Hi, girlfriend. So, guys, we got a couple more packages to open today, as well as... Um, the like I said, the remainder of Karen's last parcel because that was a thing for you. I know. So now we have to. I don't. It doesn't do. Um, it doesn't do much good for me to open stuff that you're supposed to be reacting to, right? Um, especially if it's bees. Yes. Or snakes or oh, spiders. I, I like snakes. I don't like spiders. Hey, uh, one. Yvonne Violin. How's it going? Yeah, everybody loves my girlfriend's tattoos. Mm, thank you, God. Wait, it's nope. this one. Oh, it's <laughs> that's a bit. Ah, I'm, it's, I keep thinking it's a mirror, and it's yeah. the opposite. It's the opposite mirror. Sorry, it's all right. We're both here. To, um, so, guys, uh, last night I drew my profile pic. It's supposed to be Medic from TF2, but I messed it up. There's nothing messed up about it. It's just, it's very small. I don't know. Like, I could see it, but it's bad. I like the medic myself. Uh, but, yeah, um, games. Someone's asking about games on live stream. I have done a Twitch stream where I played games, but the thing is, I don't like to not pay attention to the game when I'm playing a game. So I don't do that well on Twitch because I just kind of stare into the distance while everyone's like, what are you, what's your problem? Um, so I don't do that, and I don't know, we've done some other stuff on the stream that's a little more interactive, but... Who has the time? Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean when I'm saying that? Like, it's just... Let me game a little bit more. That's better. Ah, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... Nickname is German means one of many, something like that, but cute how you tried to say it. One Yvonne Violin Yeah, I don't I don't know. That's what you get. That's what you get for making different languages try to work in this world. It doesn't. Of course to split my attention between you guys and Tom Hiddleston right now, it's such a struggle. Oh god. Well you can always watch the rerun, I don't care. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. We tried to watch The Night Manager, but we only got halfway through it. Now we can't figure out how to get through the second half. Yeah, some weird couple different, like, streaming services I had to sign up for, yeah. and now Ultra. I can't access it, or it says my password's wrong. Yeah, it's like, well, you've got an ultraviolet account, but then you've got this gotta other... Gotta go through Voodoo. Yeah, now you have, need to subscribe to Voodoo and or some shit. And link them together. Like, who cares? Just... 
just let me watch that shit or download yeah. it or whatever. Like, you don't need to get like a monthly. I need to see how many more women Tom? Jonathan Pine's gonna. Or is it Jonathan Pine? Right? It's, I don't know. Tom Hiddleston. Whatever. Just, just see how many more women he's gonna plow through just by the end of this series because he just knocks them down. Yeah. You set him up and he has uh, uh, sexual intercourse with them. Yeah. Like that. I think that's how that phrasing goes. Uh catch things same. Mm -hmm. I posted my earliest arts on Tumblr and I have to do 32 art requests. Well, cool, Lorraine. My, I, like, my suggestion to you is if you're starting as an artist or if you're starting to promote yourself as an artist, um, don't take free requests. Yeah. You know, draw what you want to draw. Um, Unless you just... And get paid for things you don't want to grow. Like, I mean... do anyway. I'm not saying you should go, like, full capitalism crazy on it, but, like, you know, don't get bogged down in requests that you feel... Obligated to. Yeah, that, there's really no incentive for you to do. Um, so, guys. So, have you seen the new Thor movie? Yeah, Adam, we saw that. We didn't see the new Star Wars, though, so if any of you want to talk about it, you better shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> Because I don't want to hear anything about Star Wars right now. I want to hear about... Dogs? I, mean, I really dog don't want to hear about anything. Yeah, dogs are fine. You can send pictures of your dogs to me any day of the week. Uh, well, Jonathan, welcome to your first live. Um, I'm not a particularly nice person. So uh, please joke around with caution as I will say mean things to you if you... Do not watch your goddamn mouth. Anyways, um, he's gonna clap back. I'm say. seeing SW tonight. No spoilers, please. Doing art is a stress reliever over my nanny training. Navy. Navy. Oh, I thought you're training to be a nanny. That's a big difference there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure in the navy you have to. You sometimes feel like a nanny to whatever uh, personnel and supplies that you are charged with working with. Maybe. You know, navy nanny. Or not to be confused with the nanny that always wears navy blue. Not really. Uh, Jonathan's a trickster. Thor is a god of static carpets. Uh-huh. Okay. So, thank you for that, Caitlin. Um, we're going to start looking into what we got in the mail. Do you want to do yours first? Sure. 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 So dry. It's really dry. Hey, okay. Danielle. So, uh, Karen had sent um, a beautiful laptop bag yes. to me, which I, I am already using. Um, and TGC uh, likes it, too. She, well, she likes the old one. Oh, she likes your old one. The old one foam one is on the floor now, and ah. TGC likes to turkey up on that yeah. little guy. So, uh, that's it works out for the... I got a free cat bed out of the deal. Yeah. Mm. And a free cat hair in my mouth. Anyways... And we also got uh, the DVD uh, copy of Desert Punk, like the unabridged, which is about a guy. It's about a short guy, but for some reason on the cover of the thing, they decided to put the very chesty uh, sort of uh, <laughs> a lady antagonist on it. So, you know, you do what you have to for marketing. It's that kind of world we live in. Um... Oh no, Hannah, happy birthday, but sorry about being sick. Go take a nice poop. That helps me when I'm sick. Um, Sometimes just sitting on the toilet for a while. Jonathan. A quiet, some quiet alone time. Yeah, I mean, try to warm up. <laughs> warm up a, a nice uh, plastic bag full of chicken soup and sit it on the toilet seat before you sit on it. <laughs> And then you have something to eat while you sit on the toilet, as well as a nice, toasty, warm toilet seat. You should write a book. We're restarting. This is the advice portion of the, the broadcast. Um, I watched a movie called Murder on the Orient Express. My birthday was the 10th. Uh, I would be interested in seeing Murder on the Orient Express. Yeah. Happy it's a kind of brown thing, isn't it? Yeah, I will watch that. Happy belated birthday, Lorraine. Uh, Lorraine. Why is your hair so fabulous? It's not fair. Oh, well. Mainly because it's very pixelated and you can't see how weird it is. <laughs> uh, how bad my ends are and how oily it gets after I don't take a shower for like 18 hours. Hey, Juline in Spain. It's good to see you. Uh, so let's, let's, let's 
commence with the, the package. So this is something that came from Karen. Now, Karen didn't wrap it. I did, and I ran out of scotch tape. So it's got masking tape on it, but, like, we don't need to focus on that. We can focus on the good, which is that Karen sent this beautiful thing. Could you recommend me a drawing tablet? You know, Karen, I can't. Uh, I was just mentioning this to Amada recently that at, at the job I just restarted, um, I always regretted not utilizing the drawing tablet when I was there to begin with. And then I went and I was like, I'm going to use this tablet. And as soon as that stylus touched the uh, surface, I was like, I don't ever want to use this. It is a terrible experience. And it's, well, because it's not a screen. Ah. It's, it's down on the desk and the screen's up oh, here. No. Yeah, so you got your, your drawing tablet down here. Your screen is up here. So if you're going to get a tablet, at least, you know, Wacom or Wacom um, is sort of the, the industry standard. Uh, but, you know, if you're just getting started with stuff, maybe try something that's a little less expensive because they are very expensive. Um, mine gets oily after like 10 minutes. Uh, looks like I have to watch this later on, guys. Oh, sorry, hubble, bubble, blah. Same ribbon, my dirty mind wants me to say, show us your package. Here's the package. It's right here. <laughs> okay, so, take this. Do what you need to do. Have a tablet that it takes, like that, it takes a ton of practice. Yeah, Colleen, I'm not a very good practicer. I get really impatient. I don't like using Photoshop. It's, yeah, I don't like using Photoshop either, but you gotta do it sometimes. Hey, Loki Rain 29 uh, how does one... Yes, Karen. I do like this very much. I need a calendar, and I love Bob's Burgers. Oh my god. Thank you. So, if anyone hasn't been paying attention, Amada has been doing her Linda cosplay for probably about a year now. Yeah. Uh, you started doing that when you first moved to California, so maybe even a little bit more than a year. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the first time I did her. It might have been Stan No, was it Stan San Diego Comic No, I think it was Stan Lee. Stan Lee last, last year? year. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway. You got a real you. bobfin. Thank you. A bobfin. A little bobcat. Open this up. I need can't decide more. whether I put it up at work or I put it up at home. I put it up at work because I'll see it more at work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I used to like Painter, but it's been a while since I used it. Yeah, I mean, everyone's got their, their stuff. Uh, how does one overcome anxiety? I'm having a hard time with it. Well, Galactica... It, honestly, anxiety is something that I think we both can honestly say that we're pretty uh, familiar with. Familiar with, and maybe even have struggling with. <laughs> have given a little too much power to. At times, we choose to stay in a lot. Um, you know, and maybe that's bad. Maybe it turning needs to be a happy medium. Yeah, honestly, like. Sometimes you have to look at your fears and be like, uh, I'm not going to be anxious about this. I'm just going to do it. And if I fail, I'm good. Like, I'm still a good person. And sometimes um, you have to be like, you know what? I'm not going to put myself in this position right now. I'm going to go and take a nap. Or go and just relax and not feel bad about it. Um, so that's that's my anxiety uh, advice. Someone gave me a heavy and medic viral pops. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Bob's Burgers, Bob's Burgers. Sorry, couldn't stay. Got to, got to charge my phone. Bye, Jonathan. Kind of sad, but good night. Good night, Laura. Hey, Emily. Bye. Says Raven. Mm -hmm. Amada is browsing. I yeah. am. <laughs> it's not a banjo moment. No. Okay. So we've also got two packages that came in. Um, I'm not going to speculate who they're from, but we're going to check it out. Got a feeling this might also be something that's meant for either one. What is that? This one. Look at that little bit. Oh. Hmm? Look at that little box. This guy? That little guy. It's just so distracting it's to have that there. Chocolates. Thanks to Morgana for, for the chocolates. What do the chocolates look like? There's a TARDIS chocolate. Oh, that's made entirely out of chocolate? Yes. I haven't eaten that one yet because it looks like it takes quite a bit of commitment. It also looks like it's painted blue on the outside. Are you sure that's... It's chocolate. Safe? You want me to take a bite of this right now? No. Well, I mean, do you, the question is, do you want to I mean, take it's chocolate. A bite of that? It's 
a tard. It's a TARDIS. Um, oh, it's full of something. Ooh, it's got nuts. It's and caramel got, in it. It's got nuts, much win. like my fucking wife. A win. Anyways, guys, <laughs> um, what can I use for this? So let's see. I don't want to show you guys the shipping label. Let's see what's going on here. I like. Can let me say this. I love this tape. I love Amazon's tape that's mostly paper, but it's got some strings in it to keep it strong. Yeah. I like it because it's easy to destroy. The plastic is. tape is n nice when you need a real strong, like, fortification on the outside of a box. But this stuff, oh, what a dream. You just slice right through it. And this string just comes right off. And everyone's happy because they didn't have to struggle to get the thing done. What do we got here? Give me this. Uh, uh, uh. So guys, Spooky Tardis Chocolates. Have you ever just walked the sidewalks with your Thor friend, uh, you mean Steven, to see the reactions? Um, seems hot wearing the Loki cosplay, but I figured I should ask. It would seem fun. Yeah, I mean, Steven and I would walk around all the time. Um, so people would sometimes say, like, oh, look at those guys. They look like a couple of those guys from that movie. And we'd be like, ah, yeah, we know what you're talking about. We <laughs> We know, we know what's going on there. So what do we got here? Look at this. Hi, Amada. Enjoy your gift from Marcy and Mark. I've been wanting this for a while because I, I want a real alarm clock and not my stupid phone. <sighs> yeah, Hot, did you talk to them about this no. in, in detail? No, this is on my wish list. Oh, and it's got like, a nightlight with different colors because you like nightlights. I don't. I do like a nightlight, guys. I'm a little night scared to sleep in the dark. A little bit nightlight. I right? don't like. I don't like sleeping in the dark. Do you wanna? Um, do you, there's a knife on the refrigerator. If and you want uh, a knife. um, and my phone alarm didn't wake me up one night when I was working a really weird like 2 a.m. shift, and I hate. Waking up and seeing that it's actually time for me to be at work instead of time for me to wake up. So I wanted a real alarm clock. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Marcy and Mark, we'll probably give them a phone call. Yeah. After yeah. this, uh, a private phone call. Uh, special, special privileges for Marcy and Mark. Um, so this is something off my wish list, which may seem weird to you, but I don't answer to you, and you're not my real dad. So. Um, while you're unwrapping that, I'm going to show you this. It looks simple. Simple white box. Uh, easy packaging. Um, and this is, a, it fills in one of your CD-ROM drive bays in your PC, which I'm currently looking at, but I can't show you because it's running this live stream. And instead of it being a CD player, it's just a little drawer. It's a little drawer. Let me see if I can get the light to hit it right. Mm. Um, and it's got... You can put stuff in it? Yeah, and you can put stuff in it. And I'll just clean some of this shit off my desk. Because I just have so much it shit kind of on my chaotic. desk all the time. Matter of fact, yeah. when you were here yesterday, uh, your Bob's Burgers calendar was hidden on my desk underneath all the oh my other gosh. shit <laughs> because I hadn't had time to wrap it. So I was like, I'll put it under the other two calendars that I have. Um, let's see. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Are you going to do the Ragnarok Loki next? I am not. There are no plans to do that. Uh, if somebody else wants to finance it, I'll be happy to get some artists involved, but I am not going to dump a lot of money into another costume right now. Um, I might want to wait even until Infinity Wars comes out to even yeah, it's, comment on whether it's or not. It's May. I'll... Anyway. Good God. So. Um, true power being able to talk about packing tape and somehow sound super smooth I am. Yeah, I mean, that's... Because my... you're so smooth. You're so smooth. <laughs> It's like purple. Oh, John. It's actually, it can be any color. It's, it's, it's like multi-luminescent mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do we have a power thing we can run to it? I mean, I uh, have, it has a plug. I just we'll do it. Well, I mean, we'll but can we get it to that wall? Yeah. We'll see. 
Uh, what are your thoughts on the Infinity War by the trailer? I like the looks of it. Who make your Loki costume? You, not me. Uh, it was like a bunch of different artists. Uh, the actual costume itself was mostly made by Luck and Spades. Um, Needles and Swords did some of the props. Commissar Props did some of the props. And Helmet. Um, Eldritch Arts? Eldritch Arts did a lot of the armor. Uh, Mal's Fantasy Factory. Ah, oh, god damn it. What else? Um, do Rasaku. What's his name now? <sighs> There's a guy who does leather work. I, he used to go by Rasaku, but now he's got a different thing. Uh, did you hide Amada's calendar where the so right below where you can see there's a mm -hmm. desk that's covered in shit not shit not human shit uh, just <laughs> stuff uh, and I had a calendar and I put her calendar under my calendar and then today I wrapped her thing before uh, she got here she was dorg sitting for dorgs and it was dorg sitting little chihuahuas um, mm. Who made the Loki helmet? Uh, Commissar Props made the helmet. Oh, look at that. Look at how glowy it is. Yeah. Is, it, is it fading into other colors? Yeah. Whoa! I wanted that. Oh, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's Bluetooth also. It's uh, Bluetooth. So once I get my computer situation straightened out, I can actually like get some iTunes going. So, guys, remember... Let let Bluetooth uh, be a lesson to you. Brush and floss daily. Uh, give yourself some credit. You did add uh, some rare earth magnets. I did add some magnets and a lot of bra hooks and things like <laughs> that. So, you know, I, I had a small part to play in my own costume. Mostly that of wearing it, though, was what I did for the Costume Participation Award. Um, so I'm sad my old boyfriend hates me. Well, June, there's other fish in the sea. Other boyfriends to be liked. Around how much did you and your local cosplay cost? Don't worry about it. Don't it, guys. Don't worry about the cost. A whole bunch. Don't just, worry about just it. Hi, Jen. That. Oh, hi, Jen. Um, you, you were just in time for the mailbox time. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, my God. This one's heavy. Oh, ah. shit. Super heavy. Mm. It's like a super heavy package. Oh. Super duper die. Eh. TT, but I want to cosplay Loki. Well, Raven, start. You know what Loki looks like. Nothing stopping you from. <gasps> Nothing stopping you from uh, making the costume. Um, oh, man. It's your little. I'm not going to say what it is. You got to show That's it. That's a thing, guys! <laughs> Oh, oh Cos Cosmic Cookie, bring your phone into the bathroom and poop Go while poop. watching. Wow, okay, you want to do yours first? You Let's... do yours first. Okay, so guys, I have been playing a fair amount of D&D &D lately. Um, and in D&D, &D, I have been playing as a cleric, but there was a point where we started a second game where everybody in my party was cat people. And I was like, oh, you know what? I want to try being a bard. So, as a bard, you could get certain instruments, and I asked my DM if I could have a very specific instrument, which I thought would be very cool to have. And uh, it's called kalimba. a kalimba. And it looks like this. And it sounds like this. <laughs> yeah, where's your microphone? It's up at the top. Turn the times. <laughs> you gotta play that every time you come to my plate. You gotta like wear it on your belt. I'm gonna! So I know you're approaching. I'm gonna learn some tunes, bro! It looks like you can you can even tune it and everything. Yeah, like make okay. them longer, shorter. I'm gonna mess with that and just somebody's a gonna watch some instructional videos. So I got like I like that, and I'm gonna play the shit out of that thing when I'm fidgety. on the toilet. Yeah, yeah. Now there's something else in here which I think is for you. Yeah, it's on my wish list. So yeah. I'm gonna just let you show this to everybody. For Pam. Ah! Bam. 
Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I love these books. I have the one from The Dark World, and then I have the Crimson Peak one too. And I can't wait to look through this. So, this is the Thor Ragnarok art book, I believe. Yes. And this is the one that's got the cool pictures of Loki oh, and like and the really costumes. crazy yeah. warrior. Uh, uh, that's a costume I'd love to have. Uh, there's sort of a real um, comic slash Norse inspired costume Let's design for Loki. Thing. Ooh, and look at that. Look at how fun that is. So much fun. That's Jack Kirby oh, stuff yeah. right there. Uh, what is we go ahead? Yay, D&D. Um, you saw the movie Thor Ragnarok. We did. Uh, are you excited for Black Panther? I am. Uh, not gamed in ages, it's true. Anyone do good cosplay, I believe in all of you. Marvel should take Black Widow movie, agreed. Um, sounds so pretty, I agree. Raven, uh, they have the Dark World cosplay on Loki, uh, on Cosplay Sky, but it's over $200. Yeah, Which if you think, cheaper, yeah, right? if you think $200 is a lot to spend on a costume, do not embark upon, um, a custom-made one. Um... I made my Loki cosplay. Here's how. Oh, that's nice. Hey, Bill and Amata. Hey, Candace. Hi. Uh, hi, Loki. Hey, you. Merry Christmas. My plans to come uh, to the UK. Oh, any plans? No, I have no plans to come to the UK. I'm sorry, Heidi. It's just not in the finances right now. Um, bought a green velvet dress. Made the rest myself. Uh, Art of Ragnarok. Favorite scene from Ragnarok. Hmm. I like... The Korg parts. Yeah. Piss off, ghost. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Like, I like him a lot. Um, I like the, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's good. Um, I also, I mean, I like the Thor, like, coming into his Thunder God status. Like, just, like, kill spree. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, that, that, in the... And battle where the fucking Led Zeppelin kicks in. Yeah. And he's floating down on the bolts of lightning. That's that pretty, pretty dope. wicked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, <laughs> uh, no, we're not going to dance. Um, are you going to cons in Cali this year? I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I didn't renew my membership for San Diego Comic Con. I didn't renew my membership for even WonderCon. So. I'll make it to a con if I can, but as of right now, like, I just don't feel like it, guys. It's taken a lot out of me every time I go to a con. It's just so, well, like you said, it's a lot of the same. It's just a crush of people. Just standing in a big room full of people. That's all it is, guys. Uh, any other favorite superheroes or villains? Uh, my favorite superhero is Spawn. I love Invincible. Uh, villains? I do like Thanos. I like Thanos a lot. I've always kind of liked how Thanos looks. I've always loved Wolverine. A lot of the X-Men characters I like. Cyclops. What about you? Uh, really Loki's... Oh, yeah. Guy. Loki's my number one. Yeah. I do like Phoenix. I like her a lot. Really? Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. I think there's so much focus on Phoenix, I'm almost tired of seeing yeah. it. Like, she's gotten to be in, like, eight of the X-Men movies. True. And it's like, oh, well, come on now. Um, I guess I just want that power. Wish I could. Orville. Destroy things with my mind. It puts a... Uh, okay. Any other favorite superheroes? I haven't seen Thor 3 movie yet of Transformers 5. Yeah, Lorraine, I've heard only bad things about Transformers 5. Um, my favorite part is uh, Get Help. Yeah, that was a pretty funny part. Love the scene where Thor is recapping Loki pranking him. That was also very funny. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the humorous stuff, like, people resented because it made the movie seem less, like, dire or serious. Uh, but I'm like, hilarious. Yeah, like, I'll take humor any day of the week. I think we're, uh, they're talking to uh, Valkyrie, and she's like, yeah, I just thought, you know, this would be a good place to come and, you know, maybe die someday. And then uh, Thor's like, yeah, I kind of thought, like, you did drink a lot and it might kill you. And she's like, well, I'm not going to stop drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not my point. Oh, uh, man. Okay, Ragnarok, less serious, lots of action. Sun's going down, sun's getting low, sun's, sun's going down. Yeah, sun, <laughs> sun's getting good. really low now. Uh, there's Why a Transformers 5, that? Savior's Here part, I love that with comedy. Least favorite character in the Marvel or DC universe. Least favorite characters. Ha, man. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't love Aquaman, 
like he was okay in Justice League, a little little um, broy, little kind of like overly not a little broy, little he was like all bro, yeah, a little over masculinized. I don't know what, the, like he just seemed super immature. Uh, like yeah, Aquaman not great. Um, who else? Yeah, I'll tell you, it's a comic that I don't like is that people go crazy over. Good night, Carol. Oh, Carol, good night. Is Walking Dead. Like, you know, people go crazy over the comics, but I can't read zombie stories, and I just don't care. What was the other thing someone... Oh, you know what I found out that I didn't actually like very much? Is Deadpool. Hmm. I tried reading some of the more seminal, like, Deadpool stories. It's just... It's just... Like, yeah, Deadpool's funny because he's a dickhead and he's kind of irritating, but in his original, like... I don't know, 90s, not his original 90s run, but in his, like, some of his more famous 90s comics, like, he's actually very cruel. Like, he doesn't, he not only is, like, a mercenary who doesn't stand for much, but he, like, kind of goes out of his way to make a lot of people unhappy for no other reason than, like, he can. Mm. And uh, I liked Deadpool a lot less upon, like, really getting a thorough reading of, you know, his, his uh, comics. So that was unfortunate because I really did like some of the Deadpool stuff I got uh, that I've seen. I also hate Shadowhawk, uh, an obscure, not obscure, I don't but even know who that is. An, image, an Image Comics uh, character that looks a lot like a silver wolverine. Uh, he, his comics always sucked. Um, villains. Villains you don't like? Yeah. Never loved the Joker. Yeah, me either. Like, people love the Joker. And I'm just like, well, yeah, he's insane. <laughs> but, like, he also ends up with, like, really... He also ends up being given, like, a lot more credit... For intelligence, wash your hands, Jen. Deserves. Going from that nasty experience in the bathroom to the kitchen. <laughs> uh, Raven, I mean, for me, the comics are the character. Like the movie, I enjoy the movie because it's not really based completely on the comics. Um, but yeah, if if I read a graphic novel or something, and the character in the comics proves himself to be a douchebag, like yeah, that kind of ruins the character. For because that's the origin of the character. The movie kind of takes the greatest hits and runs with it, but... I don't know. <sighs> oh, man. Jen is recounting her poop in graphic detail. Yeah, she said it's nasty. That was a real clumpy one. <laughs> <sighs> um, Clumps. Yeah. Yeah, I guess my my thing with The Walking Dead is I'm sure it's an intriguing story. Um, I just I the fact that it became a cultural phenomenon I think is more it can be lent more to the fact that zombies play well on television. Yeah, like it's easy to make up a hundred people in zombie makeup than it is to make like a single superhero look good on TV as. Like, all of the CWDC shows have shown us where, you know, The Flash is not a great-looking show mm. when we've got such great special effects in movies that even we still complain about. Like, people are so pissed off about how Thanos looks, and it's like, who, who, what are you, a fucking color expert where, like, the color of Thanos is going to ruin your goddamn day? Yeah, your whole experience has been tainted. He was more blue in the Avengers. I don't give a fuck. Like, he's slightly less purple now. Like, you didn't complain about Vision having different, like, markings on him between one right. movie and another. Yeah. So. The low-key suit looking blue. Yeah. The Deadpool movie gets a lot of details wrong. Well, sure, Colleen, but it also omits a lot of the stuff that makes Deadpool into a not likable character, which you can be one of these people that's like, oh, character doesn't need to be likable. needs to be likable. Like, what the fuck am I tuning in for if the character's not likable? Like, I, I, that's why I started, like, the adventures of the unfortunate 
Adventures oh. of Todd Margaret or something like that. Oh yeah, me and my sister, I we actually did watch that. Could not watch more than like two episodes of that. It's very uncomfortable, but it's we found it pretty funny because it reminds us of our brother. <laughs> He would just leave and leave like a kiddie pool full of cat food. They'll be fine. Like just everything kept going wrong because he was just so like inept. Yeah. And awkward. But even it made like, you cringe. But I don't know. We got through it. Yeah. It was pretty fun. I need a character to be likable, which is why Deadpool comics turn me off a lot. The fact that he has an old woman that he's just torturing in his house is not good in my eyes. Uh, it's because they love you guys. The Deadpool movie got a lot of details wrong. If you could own five Marvel or DC costumes, who would they be and why? But specifically Marvel or DC. Um, one of them would be Razor from uh, Green Lantern's... Um, the Green Lantern CG animated movie. Uh, let's see, other Marvel or DC characters... What do you think? Get me a Captain Marvel? What? Oh, yeah, Captain Marvel. I'd like to do that. Honestly, mm. honestly, I always wanted to cosplay Loki when I first okay. started getting into the, the, my situation. Oh, there you are. I really wanted like, the full-on armor and all that good shit. Uh, I could see me doing a multiple man, maybe, since I look like every other white guy in the world. Like, maybe we could just get a whole bunch of other people that look like me and dress as multiple man. <laughs> um, so that's two Marvels. Nightcrawler would be cool. And who from DC though? All right. So here's the thing. Every guy who gets a little taste of the belief that they themselves are attractive wants to be Nightwing for a moment. And I did, for a moment, was like, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sexy enough to be Nightwing. I've given up on that. <laughs> I'm just not a Nightwing guy. Uh, however, who would be cool? Maybe, mm, I'd say Beast Boy, but even that's a little stupid. I don't, I don't love Beast Boy. Yeah. Flash, No. I did Lobo once, but I'm too skinny for that. Um, Invincible. I would like to do Invincible. Maybe like one of the alternate versions of Invincible. But he's not really DC. He's Image. And lastly... Maybe, uh, like, oh, what the hell's his name? Oh, Christ. There's a character in Spawn who has, like, chainsaws for hands, and, like, uh, he's a villain. It's not the curse. I mean, it is the curse. No, it's the freak I'm thinking of. I mean, it's the curse. Yeah, there's a spawn villain who's like a green armored guy who has uh, knives and shit for hands. That would be a pretty cool He's got costume. knives for hands? He's got knives for hands. What do you think? What else? So Loki, Captain Marvel maybe. Yeah. Like a Most Wonder probably. Woman? Oh, maybe. No, I don't want to be Wonder what Woman. What about? Uh, uh, Antiope, right? Isn't yeah. that the general? I yeah, really like Robin Wright's that. character from, from yeah. Wonder Woman. Like, buff up. Really good for that one. Um... I do like doing Celine a lot, but she's not a Marvel or DC. It counts. We know it? what Marvel versus DC means. Um, if you got to cosplay anyone, um, I can't sit down and watch Walking Dead. If you could cosplay as anyone at all with no cost, who would you pick? I'd be a probably a StarCraft Space Marine, or uh, uh, even a Warhammer Space Marine, or a um, uh, original. Starship Troopers of the Book Space Marine, or uh, possibly, uh, die, what is it, if die, repeat, Edge of Tomorrow Space Marine, um, basically, a, a, a I like, space guys, let me, let me, 
just get something straight down to earth for you. Space Marines. <laughs> if you could cosplay anything, okay. but like at no cost, it's it, you could make just the most extravagant costume in the world. Like you could have wings. That's what I was just gonna say. Like, that I, I mean, I, I can't like pinpoint it character, but I do like when people have the big elaborate fucking yeah. wings. Or I, I like the stilts. I like the super tall costumes. Yeah. I think those are really yeah. neat to look at. So a, a bird. Uh, maybe like a stork. <laughs> I'm a pegasus. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> be a beautiful pony. Yeah, I always wanted to be a horse. That'd be That's cool. True, true story. Um, you do know Jack Kirby worked both at Marvel and DC, so in a way it's not copyright, just applying the same work in the comics Jack Kirby did. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Like honestly though, like yeah, Jack Kirby created like half of the like Silver Age comic book characters. Um and if you want to get a conversation started about like copywriting, yes, Marvel and DC most likely made him sign over all the rights to the characters he, he created, but he, he he and his estate should probably be getting paid way more right now for a lot of these characters that are getting super, super popular and lucrative. Um, but that's not the way the world works. Um, so long as Thanos is awesome, who cares about what he looks like? I just don't care what color his skin is. Like, I don't want him wearing a... Like a I don't know, a loincloth the entire time. Like, I'd like to see the Thanos armor, but, uh, like, you know, I just don't care if he's, like, 80% uh, red-purple or 80% blue-purple. Who cares? Uh, the Walking Dead is not for everyone, but the showrunners are screwing it up now that Kirkman is not writing for part, uh, part of the show anymore. Yeah, Kirkman uh, is my favorite writer because he wrote Invincible, but The Walking Dead is obviously his more well-known title, so having him not be attached anymore uh, seems like it would be a big hit to the show. Do you think Loki will be good or bad in the Infinity War? Um, I think Loki will be what he's always been. I think he's going to be out to do something that is in no one's interest but his own. For what it's worth. But, you know... That's how I would write it. Marvel, there's a lot of hands in that pot right now. There's a lot of cooks in that kitchen. Mm -hmm. And whatever they insist is going to happen, they're going to go where the money is. So that's, uh, that's how that's going to go. So cross your fingers, Loki fans. Um, Nightcrawler, just hope he gets screen time. How do you think the rest of the Avengers will react to Loki in the Infinity Wars? I don't think they're going to like him. Uh, do you all watch Supernatural? No, I do not. Do you watch Supernatural? No. Mm. I'd like to see Loki, like, kick Doctor Strange's ass. I'll say that much. I don't know why. That one scene in Ragnarok, you're yeah. so mad at Doctor Strange. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everyone gets to beat up Loki at some point. Well, it was all sucker moves. He didn't even, he was just like, whoops, i just push you through this hole, haha. -ha. Or he didn't even push him, he didn't touch him, he just like made him run through things or dropped him into holes and shit. Yeah. I want to see Loki fucking yeah, but tear him a new one. Here's my rebuttal, is that that's Loki's strong suit. What's that? Is dirty tricks. Well, think about every time he's tricked Thor, it's always because he puts an illusion of himself somewhere and Thor runs through it like... No, I just don't like Doctor Strange because he's smug. Yeah. It's just all smug about it. And I want Loki to take him down some days. <laughs> eh, boy. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do you think the rest of the Avengers? I think they might freak a tiny bit. Uh, do y'all watch Supernatural? I don't think... Um... Yeah, Colleen, I don't really cosplay much other than Loki, but... You know, it happens from time to time. If we made Squirrel Girl cosplay. Yeah, Squirrel Girl? I don't know too much about her. Me either. I'll look into it. Loki will be looking out for Loki in Infinity Wars. Agreed. Hey, Loki Laufeyson. I haven't seen Ragnarok. My hubby uh, games with you. Agrees with me. Ag oh, yeah. agrees. Okay. Somebody does. What the? <laughs> Listen. Your? 
hard feelings towards Doctor Strange are completely based in the fact that you just you just want to see Loki win a fight for once. Yeah. So, well, and Doctor Strange is an asshole. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, he's not a, he's not that much of an asshole in the books. Yeah. Like he's just kind of solemn. Actually, you know what? He kind of, I guess in in his origin he is. He becomes humbler. Does he? Yeah, he's pragmatic. Mm. The only reason why he seems smug is because he doesn't have time to get into an argument. He's got to save the whole astral plane from getting fucking magic out of existence mm, by mm-hmm. dark forces. Mm. <laughs> hi, Marcy. Oh, hi, Marcy. Here. Thank you for... Thank, oh, thank you. you. Marcy. Hold on. Whee! Hold on. I'm going to tune this thing in a minute. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Once, as soon as we're done with this, I'm going to be tuning it. Tuning it up. You look tuned up. Um, it would be cool for Loki to show off his awesomeness. Meh. Uh, they could call him Dr. Scrope. Jesus, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, we have not seen the new Blade Runner. Actually, you know what? Maybe that's playing at the, new, at the, at the cheap theater. Maybe. I'd go see that Blade Runner. Uh, my hubby agrees with you. Disliked, uh, but everyone's been waiting for Hiddleston and Cumberbatch showdown. Oh, God. Loki is best at being Loki. He just can't pass up. Okay. You got them. We did get them. Uh, thank you so much, Marcy and Mark. I don't have the money, and I've been super busy. Yeah. You'll get there. I'm going to tell you something, Raven. There's not a lot to be spoiled in Ragnarok, if you've seen the trailer. Like... It's not a very um, mysterious... Yeah, there's no, like, big plot twist. Yeah, you know? just be ready to laugh, that's all. Yeah. Oh, boy. Now into the musical portion of the stream. Oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm gonna... I gotta learn how to play... What would be good on this? Like, uh... Some Tears for Fears. Yeah. <laughs> Mario theme. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Alright, well, i got a lot to get on top of. i got to clip my thumbnails right now. So, guys, we're winding down. Uh, we thank you for tuning in, and we thank uh, Marcy and Karen for sending the beautiful... Oh, i got to go to the... Oh. i got to go to the, the post office box. There's a card. There's at least one card in there. So, I'm going to try to make it to the P.O. box at some point this week. Jen uh, wants to know when we're coming back to Indy. I mean, I might be in Indy next summer because I'm going to go home for, like, a week over the 4th of July, but I don't know that yet. I don't know when you're going back. We'll figure it out. We'll let you know. Indy is a stretch. Indiana will be there for sure at some point, but Indianapolis, less of a sure bet. Yeah, it's in the near future, future, right? Yeah. So, guys, let's see. Um, Gen Con is August 4th. Oh, Gen Con. We did have a lot of fun at Gen Con. Yeah. And I do like Indianapolis. Indianapolis is a pretty city. Yeah, it is. Uh, The Kalimba is this year's puppy card. There might be an actual puppy card this year. Okay, good night, Loki Laufeyson. Hey, yeah, come to L.A. Um, Come to L.A. during one of the um, Strategicon weekends. Yeah, you'll like that. We'll get to hang out a lot if you do that. All right, bye, Mina. Uh, Logie Lavison, six times. Good God. What are you, my wife? Jesus. <laughs> okay. Everyone who's going to bed, good night. And everyone who's going to be up still for a while, uh, have a good afternoon or evening. Uh, we are signing off, but we'll probably see you again soon. Maybe around Christmas. Uh, tell me when it is, and I'll try and make it out there. There's a Beautiful. few. A year. So.
so yeah and it's right in a hotel so you know well i don't have enough space in this room that is my house to really put anybody up um you know you'll yeah be it's the in the hotel so yeah. you just walk down to the con so i don't know we'll we'll talk jen um dang all these people are going to sleep it's only four four nineteen yeah it's only two nineteen here all right guys we'll see you soon in the meantime, be good and, you know, just be responsible about yourselves. There's a lot of bad things happening in the world. <sighs> Miss you. Love you. Bye. Just take, the, take this with this. Just do this and Wait. then just grab the blue thing. Take it. Pull it down.